So, Damian Clark, head coach for Lewis Women's Soccer. I'm here with Rachel Peebles, and um, I'm just going to ask her to introduce herself. Um, so, I'm Rachel Peebles. Um, I'm a junior. Um, I'm from Fort Collins, Colorado. I graduated from Rocky Mountain High School, um, and I'm majoring in exercise science here. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Well, Rachel, um, I know we all probably feel a little bit of a, a one-two punch from a difficult weekend. Um, from your perspective, uh, how do you think we performed as a whole? Um, I think from the start of both games, we made a lot of adjustments and growth that wasn't necessarily like coached by. We like adjusted in our own way, figured out what was working for us, and so I think we grew a lot in that aspect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think uh, no matter how much you prepare, sometimes you don't know exactly mm -hmm. what the game is going to offer. And without a doubt, I think the team is becoming capable of uh, making adjustments, of course, through training, but at the same time, um, finding moments inside of games that uh, uh, require players to make decisions. Um, I think you're one of those kids that is, is very capable of, uh, of adjustment as a whole. Um, when we think about this weekend coming up, um, Tell, tell, tell me about Mesa and tell me about Westminster and what are your thoughts about us going into, you know, uh, another difficult weekend? Um, I'm excited. I remember we, Mesa's always been a hard team that we've played. We always get excited and get on our nerves, but we're always, like, wanting to play them. We know that they're going to be a tough game mentally and physically. Um, so I'm excited to play Mesa. And Westminster, freshman year and sophomore year for me, have been two different teams, so I'm... Right. I want to see what they'll be like this season because we're a new team this year than we were the past two years. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think both really fun challenges in front of us for sure. Um, I guess in the finish this, I know like today was a, a good day for relaxation, right? Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about what you and the team did today to sort of get ourselves set for this the, these next two tough games in front of us this coming weekend. We just took the day off with no school today, so we went to the hot springs. They have an athletics discount for us, so we got to go enjoy the hot springs and play some games. Hopefully it didn't cause too much trouble at the hot springs for everyone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was super fun. We are especially in a not school or soccer setting, just to right. like hang out. And we haven't had a bunch of time with being in the middle of the season, so yeah. we have to just hang out with each other. Well, I mean, that was, uh, for me, great to hear that you sort of spearheaded that for us. Um, it, it's great when you have kids beginning to find ways to, to go and hang out and build culture outside of just the soccer field because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a lot. And, you know, we're in a tough part of the season, but I think a really exciting part of um, our growth and maturity as a program for sure. Well, awesome, Rachel. Thank you very much. And Skyhawks fans, we will be at Mesa on Friday night at 7. And on Sunday, we kick off at 12 p.m. in Salt Lake City against Westminster. Thanks for the support.